After running 10,000 simulations on prop firm challenges, I found the optimal risk per trade that minimizes both cost and time to funding. It's not what most YouTube traders tell you. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to calculate it for your own strategy. I built a simulator that factors in your strategy stats, challenge phases, drawdown limits, and profit targets. The same mathematical framework that quants use to optimize their risk. And I'm giving it to you for free. But just before we dive in, most traders think that the key to passing challenges is playing it safe. Risking tiny amounts like 0.5% per trade to avoid hitting drawdown limits. They spend six to 12 months you know, on a single challenge, terrified of losing it. But here is what the simulations revealed. The traders who are getting funded consistently, they're not the ones who are the most conservative. They are the most mathematically strategic. So by the end of this video, you will know the exact formula to find your optimal risk percentage, how to calculate your expected time and cost to funding, how to budget properly for multiple challenge attempts, and the biggest mistakes that traders make to either fail too often or take way too long to pass. Let me show you why this matters with a real example. So let's say you have a strategy with a 40% win rate and you average a two to one risk to reward and you take on a two phase funding challenge. Phase one, you need to hit a 10% return. Phase two, 5% return. You're allowed a maximum drawdown of 10%. You're going for a 100K account size. And let's just say that it costs you $500 to do that challenge. So the first approach is taking it quite conservative, which a lot of traders do. So let's say you risk half a percent per trade. Now in this case, your pass rate is gonna be really high at 98%. So it's most likely only going to take you one attempt to pass. So it's only gonna cost you $500, right, in theory. But it's gonna take you 101 trades to pass on average, okay? So if you average anywhere around 10 trades a month, it's gonna take you anywhere from seven to 12 months to pass. The other option is to go quite aggressive and risk 3% per trade. So obviously your pass rate is gonna fall significantly to around 67% which means that it could take you up to three attempts to get funded, which means your cost could be anywhere from $500 up to $1,500 to pass. But here's the key, you need way less trades to pass, so your time to pass is only one to three months. So here is the real question. Would you rather only spend $500, but potentially wait up to a year, or $1,500 and get funded within eight weeks? Because there are three hidden costs to the conservative approach that nobody talks about. The first is opportunity cost. Every month that you're stuck in a challenge is another month that you're not earning real money on a funded account. Now, let's say in the long run that you can average around 2% per month. On a 100K account, that is $2,000 a month in payouts that are missed. That's $18,000 lost in those extra nine months that you spent trying to just pass one challenge. The second factor is the psychological pressure. If you're six months into a challenge, every trade starts to feel like life or death. You're gonna start getting impatient, you're gonna start taking worse trades and maybe getting like a revenge trade spiral and just blow it all up. And the third factor is rule violations. More time means more chances to hit one of the ridiculous prop firm rules. Whether it's news trading restrictions, you know, tight daily loss limits or weekend holding rules. The longer that you are exposed, you know, the higher the probability that you violate something. So to summarize, the conservative approach, yes, a higher pass rate, but you're looking at seven to 12 months of grinding, making no real money. That is a massive time investment for no return. Or the aggressive approach, you're gonna have a lower pass rate, you're probably gonna fail a few times, but within weeks you can be funded and start to earn real money. At the end of the day, we're traders, we are here to make money. And the mathematically strategic traders, they understand this trade-off and they optimize for speed to funding, not just the pass rate. Now, you might be thinking, well, how do I calculate my optimal number? Don't worry, I got you guys. I built this tool that will figure it out exactly for your strategy. So this is the prop firm challenge calculator that will help you to find your optimal risk per trade to minimize both your cost and time to funding. So the first thing you need to do is fill out the simulation settings. So let's say we have a 40% win rate, we have a uh, two to one reward to risk ratio. Now you can switch between a single phase or a two phase challenge here, okay? So I've got you covered both ways. Um, let's just say, you know, it's a $500 challenge fee. Let's say 10% target in phase one, 5% target in phase two. We've got a max drawdown of 10% in both phases. 
You can uh, choose between initial or trailing drawdown, okay? Um, initial is what I'll stick with here. And then let's say you're going for the 100K account. And let's just say you've got a 80% profit split. Now, when I run the simulation, this will quickly calculate thousands of Monte Carlo simulations with those strategy rules and with those challenge settings, okay? So with a 40% win rate and a two to one risk to reward ratio, if you come over here, you can set your risk per trade in each phase, okay? So with half a percent risk, that's obviously very conservative. Here it's saying you're, you're basically guaranteed to pass. You've got 97% chance of passing, but it's gonna take you nearly 150 trades to get funded, right? 150. Most people probably average around 10 trades, let's say on average. And again, this has to be you taking high quality trades that meet your plan, so you do actually get a 40% win rate with a two to one reward to risk ratio, right? That's gonna take so long to get funded. Now, what if we up our risk to 3% in both there? It's gonna run the simulation to make sure it's got the right metrics here. And you can see that our pass rate has now halved, right? We only got a 50% chance of passing. So what I want you to look at is these two middle metrics here. So these are based on what's called 90% confidence intervals. It's basically just what statisticians like to call a statistically significant chance. It's basically, this is the most probable scenario to expect. So with 3% risk, with, the, with this strategy, it's telling you to expect it could take you four challenges to pass, okay? But it's only 11 trades per attempt. So if you have to do it four times, you can expect up to 44 trades to pass, okay? So what this number is trying to tell you is how long to expect, what's the time it's gonna to take to get funded. So in this case, it might cost you four challenges, which is $2,000, right? If it's a $500 a challenge, but you can get funded in 44 trades. So let's say you average 10 trades in a month. Now you're down to, or a maximum of four months rather than maybe like a year and a half, okay? And then it will show you obviously a risk of five consecutive failures, okay? There is some probability, it's, it's way less likely, but you could you know take more than five challenges to pass, right? And then this, the break even analysis, will tell you that if you do get funded, you only need a two and a half percent return on that 100K account to recover challenge costs, right? So play around with all the settings in here. The whole point of this calculator is to show you the more that you risk, the quicker you can get funded, but it is gonna cost you more in challenges potentially, right? If you're unlucky, but this is the maximum expected cost. It's saying that you should get funded within four challenges, okay? Doesn't mean it will definitely take you four. It's just that it's likely that it shouldn't be more than four challenges. So in this case, if you budget $2,000, right? Worst case scenario, it's gonna get $2,000 to get funded, right? This now shows you that you only need, on a 100K account, you only need to make a 2.5% return, and now you've broken even. But actually, it's even less than that, because most of the prop firms, when you get a funded account, they're gonna refund you your challenge fee anyway. So this point here is to show you, it's actually better to get aggressive with your risk, because you'll pass quicker, Yes, you'll fail more, but if you budget enough, then you can get in there, then you can start earning real money and make your return. Now, you can see here, there's some more challenge, sorry, more graphs here to show the spread between um, the different metrics here and the detail table, if you don't have to keep flicking through all the buttons, and then it will show you how to um, interpret all the results here if you wanna dive into it. So if you want your free copy, link is the first link in the description, and you can get this and have a play around with it. Alrighty, you've got the calculator and you know the mathematical framework. But there are three common mistakes that will sabotage everything if you're not careful. And I see traders do this constantly. You know, they plug in their backtest results, 45% win rate, beautiful equity curve. And the calculator says, yeah, risk 4% and you will pass in six weeks. They then go live. They then fail three challenges in a row and they come back furious. <sighs> Your calculator is broken. Well, it's not because when we look at their actual achieved win rate in the live market, it's 38% not 45%. Their back test, you know, it's not gonna account for your emotions, slippage, and missed trades. So mistake number one is overestimating your win rate. So I would recommend you simply reduce your assumed win rate by about five to 10%. Stress test it even further. What happens if your win rate is even 10% lower? Can you still get funded with that? And then mistake number two is under budgeting. If you are risking 3% or more per trade, budget for at least three attempts. Do not put all of your eggs in one basket, you know, putting the maximum amount you can afford into one challenge because it's just gonna put way too much psychological risk on you and you're just increasing the chance of failure. And mistake number three is a really common one. I see so many people talking about this on YouTube and that is changing your risk during a challenge. 
I see traders, as they start to get closer to their target, you know, they start jacking up their risk per trade to try and get there faster. Or you know, they hit a losing streak and they start to go into drawdown and then they drop their risk really low to like 0.25% per trade just because they're scared. Do not do this, stick to your number. We are at the mercy of random distribution, which means we will never know when our wins or our losses are gonna occur. So the catchphrase for this video is to trust the math, not your emotions. So follow these three rules and you will avoid the traps that keep most traders stuck in challenges for months, just making no money. Or that makes them blow through thousands of dollars before they realize their strategy and they are not ready. All right, so now you know the optimal risk per trade to get funded faster, but here's the reality. Having this knowledge is only half the equation. The other half is being able to execute it consistently under pressure, and that is where most traders fail. Because I've seen it time and time again, you know, traders with really solid strategies and the right risk percentage, they still nearly all blow up within about three months of getting funded. And it's not because their math was wrong, but because they were missing three critical systems that keep you executing at your peak. So I made another video breaking down the three-step framework that separates traders who stay funded from those who blow up. And it will save you months of wasting time and money trying to get funded. Click here to watch it next once it's live because without these three systems, you are leaving money on the table.